What else does Christ's death redeem? Let's talk about that. How's it going? Pastor Jeremy here. Welcome back to another week of the New City Catechism. As we're looking at question number 26, what else has Christ's death redeemed? And the answer is every part of fallen creation. We're going to be opening up to Colossians chapter 1, verses 18 through 20, as we look at this question today. Let's jump right in. Before we hop into Colossians, let's take a step back and look at what we're talking about today. We're talking about creation, everything we see being broken. That the problem of sin hasn't just impacted you and me, but the problem of sin has actually broken everything we see. Paul outlines this in Romans chapter 8, where he talks about creation being in bondage even because of sin, and that it's groaning and desiring to be set free and that one day we will see that creation is freed from that bondage to sin and death. So let's take a look specifically here at Colossians 1 and be listening for where the good news is. What's good about what we're about to read? And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. <clears throat> Go again. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in everything he might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, making peace by the blood of his cross. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's pray. God, we thank you for your word today, for what we read here in Colossians, the good news that you are the first of a new wave of restoration, that your death on the cross has changed everything. And we thank you for that. It's your name we pray. Amen. We see here in verse 18, right off the bat, Paul is reminding us and telling us that Christ is the beginning, that something new has happened here in Jesus Christ, that what has been before is now different. And what is that? That Jesus' death and resurrection are the start of of something new that God is bringing about, the start of this redemption. Everything is being redeemed and made new again through Christ. Paul explains here in verse 20 that this redemption is characterized by peace, that Jesus' death is making peace between God and man, and that it is also making peace as the world is being perfected. We learned back in lesson five and question five that it's through Jesus that everything has been made. And so Jesus made everything and now he's remaking everything, including you and me and the world around us. This is a process that has begun 2,000 years ago and is continually moving closer to the day that Christ returns. Christ has died and paid the penalty for sin, so it's already finished. It's already accomplished. Everything needed for this redemption is accomplished in Jesus Christ at the cross, but it's not yet. It hasn't come to its final state. We are not yet in that time where everything has been made new. Let's look at Revelation 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. 
He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. That is what God is working toward, that one day all things will be made new again. As they were in the beginning, so shall they be in the end. That is what the redemption of Christ, the death of Christ on the cross has accomplished, and we're moving closer to that day. Friends, thank you so much for joining us as we've looked at this question and how we can understand Jesus working and God moving in the world around us to bring about the restoration through his death on the cross. And now I pose the question to you. How can you be a part of what God is doing? How can you be a part of this restoring all things back to God? What part do we have to play? Because God has called us to be a part of building up his church as we love one another, as we love God, and serve and love people like Jesus. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.